Ah, what's up everyone? Canoe Lyson here from Nitro Snowboards, holding in my hand a brand new snowboard to the Nitro lineup this year. This is the new 2020 Nitro Santuku snowboard. Santuku is a utility knife, Japanese utility knife, and that's exactly what this board is. This board is the brainchild of team rider Elias Elhart, who is kind of an all-mountain twin freestyle and a genius. He can see a mountain and rides the mountain like it's his own playground. No matter what the face is, no matter how big the AK line is, he just sees a snowboard park everywhere. So he's looking for a board that rides good in the pow, but is also playful on a normal day at the resort. It has an all-terrain twin shape, so it has a longer nose and tail. As you can see, the nose and tail have a longer length to them than the normal twin-shaped snowboard, and that's to give you more float in the pow, and also to make it more fun for buttering around. Santuku has true camber, so you have standard camber from contact point to contact point to give you that response snap you need and definitely the confidence you need when you're dropping into AK lines like Elias is doing. It has a progressive width, so it gets wider the larger the board gets. It has our all-terrain flex, flex rate of 7, so it's a medium stiff board, so it's playful. Santuku has my favorite side cut, which is a dual degressive side cut, which means that the board has a tighter turning radius in between the bindings and mellows out towards the tip and tail, allowing you to enter turns easily, but also just once you're at the apex or the peak of your turn, you can really lay your turn down and it's not going to slip out on you. The Santuku has our Power Light Core, which is a core made out of ultra lightweight poplar wood, so it's going to reduce the overall swing weight, make the board lighter, but it's still going to be snappy and responsive. The Santuku uses our Sintered Speed Formula 2 base, which was one of the fastest bases that we make. And it's sintered because you want to go fast. And sintered bases hold wax really well, they absorb it well, and they maintain their integrity and speed day after day. Since the nose and tail of the Santuku are so long, we've added diamond V-tips, which are carbon bands, making a V-shape like this on the nose and tail, which stiffens up the nose and tail of the board, but it's not going to reduce it's not going to make the board super stiff, but it's going to reduce chatter and allow you to really lay into butters. And when your carbon turns, they're not going to be flopping everywhere. It has our whiplash core profile, which means the board is milled out in between the bindings. It's thinner in the profile here. And then we've added thickness from the bindings out to the tip and tail. So the milled out in between the bindings allows for more torsional flex, allowing you to really initiate turns and to carve like a boss. And then the added width to the nose and tail allows you, allows you to stomp those landings and gives you the confidence you need when you're dropping in the big lines. I would highly recommend the Santoko for anyone who's looking for a board where they can basically make any, any mountain face, any mountain in the world, their own personal playground. It's a twin board with an all-terrain shape and feel. So if you like jibbing all over the mountain, side hits, dropping cliffs, hitting the park, buttering around, and if you like how Elias Elhart rides, then I would highly recommend this new super fun snowboard, the new 2020 Nitro Santoku snowboard. So do yourself a favor, go to your local snowboard shop, support your local snowboard community, and pick up one of these bad boys, and we'll see you on the mountain. Let's go make the mountain our own playground. See you later. Thanks for watching.